what is up everybody and welcome to my youtube channel and another vlog and as i started a video basically without a car it started to bleeding rain what is going on it's like the the day i wanted to make a video about walking around the neighborhood it starts raining well anyways i gotta say one thing while it rains maybe it's not gonna rain for a long time so we might as well go to a store and i need to find an attachment for my gopro because tomorrow's video is going to be something wild i'm not going to tell you all the details now you're going to see it for yourself tomorrow so stay tuned guys and if you haven't liked the video might as well like it and subscribe and comment something So there's a store upstairs that I want to check out and maybe they have the thing that I need and also right here they make shawarma and cook stuff right there look at that damn that's nice let's go up and check it out let's see if we find the thing we need up in this store we don't need headphones we need some GoPro stuff and uh, I have no idea I need to ask somebody about what we can find here but i mean there's fridges and tvs here so that's a good start already i guess oh, might as well buy a microwave while we're here it's for 200 dollars. nice damn look at this microwave bro that's some nice microwave stuff going on well they said you can only order it so i guess i'll have to find another store to get it so yeah this place doesn't have the thing that i need and the dude behind me definitely needs something like that as well. But you could buy yourself some good flowers or something like that. Okay, let's let's walk around the place and see what we can do. But it looks like it's still raining outside. God dang it. Why did I start the video right now? It's like absolutely lashing out. I might as well continue the video anyways. I mean, it's a GoPro 10. So the water is not a problem for us. So this is how typical Russian apartments looks like. There's like a shop behind me. And uh, yeah, we need to find ourselves a way to get to NVIDIA. I'll take this path then, I guess. I have no idea where I'm walking, so maybe we'll see something cool, right? I mean, look at this. Some apartment block stuff going on here. So right there you could see people chilling out by a playground basically that's where all the kids play and the babushkis hang out as well and this is a legit cool kind of a, a russian style alleyway actually there's actually a cool one that i accidentally passed once maybe we'll be able to find it and hopefully not get struck by the lightning Okay, we're gonna take this alleyway right here and see where it leads us. Look how creepy this is. I mean, at nighttime, you wouldn't wanna be here because some Jimmy Sal is gonna pop out of nowhere. Look at this. This looks sketchy as hell. Oh my God. But at the same time, it's nice during summer because it's lashing outside and I'm just walking under the trees and I don't care because the trees are hiding me right here. Oh guys, check what I found. I found two Soviet chairs and a toilet. If anybody needs a toilet, you know, I could send you the address of this place and you can come up and get it yourself. And look, there's a bicycle right there. That's definitely an old grandfather's car because you could see it had like a uh, boot on top of it so that a person could basically, you know, bring stuff over to his dacha, which is like the countryside house and just enjoy. And uh, we're actually coming close to a local like shopping mall. We might as well check it out. Maybe there's some sort of handheld, whatever the heck I would need to get for my GoPro. So let's go check it out. And it's basically right over there. So 
yeah let's see if we can get there and not get absolutely soaking wet as well i actually don't know why i had a shower i mean i don't have like hot water until the 27th which is tomorrow and uh, i could have just you know taken out my shampoo went outside and had a good old shower because this rain but you know it's one of those rains that actually feels nice it's not a cold rain it's like one of those tropical warm rains so guys if you ever lived in like a post-soviet country you probably have the exact same but you guys over at the states i'm not sure about it but in russia we have people selling like fruits and stuff outside basically so it looks like this and it's all like fresh and nice and absolutely freaking delicious and i need to get to the shopping mall because i'm getting absolutely soaking wet and it's called centralny rinek selatino so we're gonna go over there and uh, see if we can find something interesting there check this out guys this is legit cool i mean you have like all sorts of stuff right here that you could buy it's like a uh, it's like a bazaar inside a shopping mall so you could buy like all this stuff and it's really cool it's freaking amazing you could get like nuts and stuff like that just a freaking cool place you could get like all sorts of stuff here you could buy your lottery tickets get yourself some good meat just all the good stuff all the good stuff is right here and uh yeah i mean look there's a bunch of meat right there but the thing is kfc is like closed down here so no kfc but at least you could get like all sorts of things right here you could get like fishes look at this damn this looks good and obviously you could also get like freshly baked bread and stuff like that you can see it right here and it's like baked right there this is just awesome so let's go find the place where we actually need to go and maybe they'll have something interesting right there guys hopefully this time i won't have a person actually attack me over at el dorado and uh, let's go check it out if they actually have the thing that i need but to be honest with you i really doubt that they do actually have something that i need because it's too freaking expensive so guys you can't imagine i basically walked around like this shopping mall right here and i just found my friend right here and he's like i opened up a shop and check this out this is like his store right here damn this looks good damn look at that that's good that's good do i look beautiful <laughs> well that's quite odd to see a friend that opened up a store anyways el dorado maybe they will have the thing i need let's check it out sounds like nobody's here but uh let's buy ourselves some cool watches so they don't have the thing might as well I don't know I guess I'm not gonna get it here I need to find somebody who sells them and uh, get it hopefully the rain stopped though because it's absolutely annoying with the rain so I guess there's absolutely no luck of me getting that thing here so I guess when I'm gonna be going over to that place that I'm going tomorrow I'll be able to actually get it somewhere hopefully anyways because I don't know how I'll actually hold the GoPro to the place where I'm going it needs like some really firm sturdy hold or something like that damn it's raining like heck right now okay I'm not gonna wait at the shopping mall for the rain to stop we're just gonna walk past the police station um, over here there's actually like a small police station I've actually been there a few times to be honest with you but it was for things that uh, I was falsely accused of by some mad person honestly it was such i mean he was legit like mad he 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 like he was in like a mental hospital and everything and he was just crazy literally so this is like a really really soviet type of uh place i mean there's like old buildings and stuff like that there and uh yeah the police station is right there as well check this out there's like policeman trying to open the door right now check this out chilling out with my mate policeman so right here you could see a beautiful beautiful old building check this out damn and all the buildings in this area they're like 
really old as well. I mean, if you could look at here, they're actually called like barracks, basically. Look at this. This is number six barrack. Oh, this looks creepy. Let's take this place. So we're just going to randomly walk around the place. Hopefully not get beaten up by anybody because uh, you never know what could happen. So we're passing by the olden house over here. And uh, this place looks legit creepy. And I gotta show you something awesome, guys. I don't know if you could have seen it anywhere, but I think it's quite cool. So let's get to it. Now, guys, you gotta check this out. How cool does this look? That's literally like a big light right there. Check this out. I'm holding a big light. What the heck? But anyways, let's explore a little bit more in this neighborhood i guess tomorrow is going to be something awesome and i had to record something today because it is a daily vlog and i think it's quite interesting to walk around the streets and uh, show it to you guys and this is not like central moscow this is like outskirts regional moscow so it's like around 60 kilometers away from the city center basically or maybe like maybe 70 or something I'm not 100% sure, but this is how it looks like. Guys, check out what I found. I literally found a cafeteria over here. It says cafeteria right there. It's like an olden building as well. And it says from it works from 11 to 16. Damn. That's a real Soviet cafeteria going on there. That's for sure. So, since I'm already wet, and that is what she said, we might as well check out some cool things that this place has to offer. Oh, wow, guys. Check this house out. It actually looks quite cool. It looks like the famous hotel in Yuga Zapadne in Moscow. That is definitely a Soviet building. It's basically like an apartment block where people live. So I found quite a cool sculpture walking by here. Check this out. And you see the way the coin is like rubbed off. It's basically rubbed off because some people believe that if you rub a coin, you're gonna be like you're gonna become wealthy and have money by rubbing it and it also happens in some like subway stations in moscow as well so actually a little bit history of this place actually this town uh, on the outskirts of moscow is basically that a lot of like elderly people that lived here or live they were the chernobyl liquidators so there's actually a monument towards the liquidation of the Chernobyl power plant. So this place definitely has a lot of history. And uh, if you didn't know about uh, what happened in Chernobyl in 1986, there was basically a big accidental explosion of a nuclear power plant. And after that, basically the whole world was like, what the fuck are you doing, motherfucker? <laughs> So after uh, the nuclear explosion, basically, um, the heck is that guy's problem? He didn't like stop for some reason. Yeah, people liquidated that and a lot of people died from cancer because of the radiation consequences and stuff like that. So I think it'll be a cool idea to show you the monument here in this town that was basically made for the liquidators. So guys, check out this monument right here. And it says right here, for veterans of Hydra Montage and uh, the people who actually like did atomic experiments and stuff like that and the liquidators of the Chernobyl electric power plant. And you could see like all the towns that basically that were involved in this Chelabinsk, Sarov, Ulyanovsk, Chernobyl, 
seem latinsk i don't know what that is no new land stepnogorsk and all those towns basically were helping out liquidate the atrocity of the chernobyl nuclear power plant and uh, it's one of a kind because chernobyl was actually basically just frozen in time and frozen in 1986 basically once the accident happened all of the people were evacuated from it and yeah it's crazy and once they were evacuated they weren't able to uh, get back and look what i found right here this is the monument of the second world war basically right here and it says here 1941 1945 to an unknown fighter pilot um your whatever you did is just you know it's 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 going to be forever remembered in our hearts and then here you could see like all the people right here like the soldiers the officers and stuff like that over here just pretty cool you could see like the names and stuff like that basically to the real heroes of nowadays world basically because it was the united states it was basically the whole world battling the bad people so you know i thought it would be a good idea to have a walk through the park in this town and there's actually a cool thing they made like a barbecue place in a park so that people who live in apartments and don't have their own housing they could basically you know make a barbecue and stuff like that and just enjoy themselves so we're gonna take a route here which is basically right here as you could see and it takes us over there and that's where people have barbecues on a nice day on a holiday and it says right here barbecue park 11 to 11 so basically you could come over here at 11 o'clock rent out a place and have a nice barbecue maybe i'll find out how much it costs and maybe we can do like a full-on cook-off in this place so guys if you if you want me to do like a legit cook-off here but i mean you know what i wouldn't like it to be here i rather go to like a lake or something like that and uh, cook some meat right there and there's actually people like barbecuing right here right now so we might as well check out this is how it looks like all those huts and uh yeah check this out this is cool people cooking barbecues enjoying their evening and it's literally tuesday as well so people who are cooking right now it's basically gonna be their dinner or something like that so that's cool that's cool there's a lot of people cooking check this out loads and loads of people cooking some quality shashlik over here I mean they're gonna be having some questions why is there a guy walking around with a camera speaking english maybe i'm the mi6 spy you never know and uh yeah you could see people cooking right here they're making some quality barbecue with their family you could also play some volleyball right there i mean russian parks are honestly great like wherever you find a park in russia most of the times it's actually quite cool well in moscow's anyway and like in moscow region I'm not sure about like other towns but the way they make parks is that you actually want to spend time here you know with your family with your friends and maybe just enjoy a, a nice walk through the forest The cool thing about russian parks as well is that people actually come here and they do like nice stuff so basically somebody came over to the park and they built a little like thing for the birds and they put some food in there as well so birds and squirrels could basically you know there's a lot of them in the park so they could go here eat some bread eat some seeds and just enjoy life just like uh, squirrels and birds shoot anyways you know and uh, it's just a great place to walk around like haven't walked for a long time and i'm literally just having a stroll with you guys showing you around my neighborhood basically and this is how it is guys this is how it is this is what it is boys check this out literally have a massive session over here so 
there's also a restaurant here never been there a coffee place and another restaurant so there's a lot of like activities you could do and there's also a bit of like a bit of like sports inventory here as well so you could do like you know your outdoor activities that you need to do and i'll i'll show it to you how it looks like obviously i'm not gonna do it right now not just because i'm fat and lazy just because it's wet and it's a health hazard and i don't want to die so i'm not gonna do any sports right now and by the way this cool thing about the park is that one side is like a walking lane and the other side is for cyclists or electric scooters or whatever and in here people could do some sporting activities they could do like you know sit-ups pull-ups pull-ups climb the ladder sit and drink beer and do whatever so it's quite cool it's quite cool tell me guys is is your park does your park have that many like different activities that you could do like from where you're from so write in the comment section below if you guys have like stuff like that in your park i'm not gonna be surprised if you do but i think parks like this are cool they're definitely absolutely cool check this out guys there's like a little bar here that uh, it's called a smoker and you could basically go over there have some beer and uh, just enjoy your evening check this out this is nice damn hello my friend <laughs> so yeah it's it's awesome and um, the guy there was happy to see me he said hello but uh, it's funny the way when I you know do my YouTube stuff people think I'm a foreigner and everybody is like super nice just because I'm a foreigner if I would be speaking in Russian to be like the heck are you talking about go away you're not allowed to film here just like the guy from my video but when I'm talking English everybody is like super super nice so if you ever wanted to come over to Russia you might as well come over because everybody is gonna be like super ultra nice and you're gonna get like loads of things for free enjoy your stuff go to restaurants everybody is just gonna be happy might as well so if you're planning to go you can go now just fly through Dubai or Turkey or something like that and just enjoy yourself damn guys check this out I'm not the only one who has an American car here so basically this guy over here has an American car as well I have no idea who has it but this is legit nice Dodge but I might think that it actually has like a turbo engine it's not like a Hemi V8 I think it's like a, a supercharged V6 probably you know I couldn't have gone out with that without any like car content on this channel for sure so guys this was like a little video that I sh thought I should do because I'm getting prepared for something cool tomorrow and if you enjoyed this video like subscribe and comment in the comment section below because your comment and your likes and subscribes do mean a lot to me and it does progress my channel a little bit more so might as well do it see you later guys